Hi everyone, welcome into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly. Thanks for joining us today. We are featuring Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. I am excited with Jean back again. I know. This it seems again. like you were just here, <laughs> but I know, I know, right? It was like last month. I know. The time keeps going and going and going, and we're so glad to have you back Thank again. You. you are so full of information, and with another great lineup here, we happen to have Ann Larson, Executive Director for Leap Up Ratner <laughs> Museum. Welcome, yes, my thank dear. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. It's exciting. You handed me all this wonderful <laughs> information, and there's a lot going on over there. I there think we is. ought to turn the show right over to oh, her, right? Well, just oh, just the whole thing. My goodness, of course. <laughs> and you know, of the, course. The, 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 you had um, an a great exhibit last the last couple of months, which we really enjoyed. We had um, yes. a cocktail party there, and then I have no idea what's coming up. Well, we have a lot of things coming up. We have uh, well, new. We have three new exhibits opening oh, on wow. uh, October seventh, and that's pretty that's neat. Week. Uh, yeah, so um, we've got the faculty. The visual arts faculty from St. Petersburg College, nice. and they're pretty phenomenal. Uh -huh. So we try to do that every couple of years, rather than you know bringing other things in or using things from the permanent collection. And we have um, uh, we have a solo show by a retiring printmaker from St. Petersburg College, oh, and it's nice. just a gorgeous show. So wow. you you will love it when you see the hand pulled woodblock prints. Beautiful. Um, oh. We yes, you will like it. But we have a lot of other great events coming up. Can I talk about those? For Absolutely. A we have a really neat thing coming up um, October 9th, and that is our Weird Science Night. Oh, I've heard. And weird that's Science. That's gonna be fun. I've heard. What's that about? We're, it's, we're bringing together art and science. You've heard of steam, STEM. Mm -hmm. Well, this is STEAM. We put mm -hmm. the art in with the science, technology, and engineering, and math. Ah. And so we are using art and science together for greater creativity. So we have kind of a professor science there who will be doing demos and experiments that the kids can take part in. Oh, neat. And that's gonna be 5 to 7 p.m. on, it's a Friday night. Okay. October, I wanna make sure I give you the right date, October 19th. Okay. It's a shame to give you the wrong mm -hmm. date. And it's free and open to the public. Uh -huh. And the kids will, we, there was a great turnout last year. I think 600 people showed up, parents and kids, grandparents. 600 people? Uh -huh. That is and nice. Nice. we're going to be doing art activities like origami, which is really based on science and oh, right. engineering. Okay. If you think right. about it, it's art and right. science and engineering. So it's hands-on. It's very, we will have hands-on. And last year, the big hit for the kids, we made slime punch. Oh, Which no. is, you know, oh, like fun. Yikes. Okay, <laughs> talk about creative and tasty. And so we're going to do slime punch again. Oh, wow. So parents, kids, grandparents can come out. What and ages? we hope they will. Any age. Pretty much any age. Okay, toddlers aren't going to do so well with the hands-on, but they can come. Oh, okay? I don't know okay. about that. So we, you know, <laughs> but anybody grade school on up who's That's interested so in either art or science, and it's great, you know, even career um, ideas. It's probably so, good therapy. Stress less a little uh, bit, right? You, you better you creative. better come and do it. Okay, <laughs> come and do something punch creative. Is good oh, for I, I, yes. I, I can get Slime into that. Punch. I know it. Yes. yes. What else do you have going on? Okay. Well, we've, on a regular basis, we have uh, besides the exhibits, changing exhibitions, we always have our interactive gallery open, and that's where anybody can come. And it's a maker space. You can come anytime oh. we're open and go into that space. Parents come, grandparents come, they bring the kids. Sometimes adults sit in there. We have easels, we have art materials, we have sculptural materials. You can create a calder, stable kind oh, of a do thing. Do they need to make a reservation for no, that? No, it's anytime we're open. Anytime no we're kidding. open. Do you have to be a member? You do not. You do not. Children oh, are always free nice. at the museum, by the way. We like people to know that. There's a nominal fee for adults, um, but I think, we're the, I think we have the lowest prices in the Tampa Bay area. Um, so it should not be a deterrent, but again, like Science Night, that's totally free to come and explore. Oh, how delightful. So we love that. We try mm -hmm. to be very accessible. Yes. So regular visitors usually become members because they want to come in and out sure. you know, without having so to deal So if with someone anything. has a child and they were mm -hmm. trying to think of something new to do, or grandparents, yes. Yes, have a child come to mm -hmm. visit. Um, they, they can, can come bring over they can and bring the kids, and they can come wow. for the four to eight year olds. We have leap into art, where we have a librarian who she doesn't just read books; she narrates them and acts them out. The books about creativity and art, and then the kids move to tables and they do hands on art making based on the books that she's just oh now that read. Would be fun. And the, again, the parents come, the grandparents come, 
and they kind of watch the kids, oh, and they get great. into it just as that's much. That's great. You know, so they're, they're, they are there. The kids do have to come with an adult. They that, can't just be dropped off. Right. Well, that's but, neat to, to yeah. know because a lot of times yeah. when people come into the chamber with, okay, I have friends coming or sure. I have family coming, what are they could do this. to do? They could do this. this it's is a drop in. That is wonderful. It's a drop in. The dates are on our website. They're in our, uh, people can drop by and pick up our newsletter, which is quarterly. Um, they can opt in for, from our website for e blasts once a month, even if they're not members, so they know what's going on. Hmm. And there's All our right. website. Yes, Marvelous. so, uh, yeah. And I, oh, I will say, that notice the spelling because people go, Leaper Ratner, that's an odd name. How am I going to remember that? So, tell them where that came look. from. Well, the benefactor, the original benefactor for the museum was Alan Lipa, who was a professor of art in Michigan for many years, a very well-known educator, painter. Many colleges still use his textbook. And he retired to Tarpon Springs. No kidding. And his stepfather was Abraham Ratner, who was a very prolific artist, both in Paris before the war and who was a contemporary of Picasso and Chagall and Miro and many other artists working in Paris at the time. And then he, of course, uh, being a Jewish artist, he, he left um, on one of the last boats out wow. um, at just the right time. Wow. Lost a lot of his work that was left behind. Um, and, uh, but fortunately, he was very prolific. So we have a collection uh, that includes Ratner, but many other well-known artists of the 20th and 21st centuries. How but exciting. Yes, it is. Yes. It's a yes. beautiful place. We, and, I've been over there. You know what? Uh, yes. We, our building is a work of art. Yeah, it is a work and of art. It's a pretty iconic building. And I, will, I would say that we hear all the time, many people drive by and go, I always wondered what that building was. <laughs> oh, you know, yes. right at the corner yeah. of, of Alderman yeah. and uh, Belcher. Right. And we're, we sit up high Klosterman. over a pond. Excuse me, Klosterman uh, and Belcher. Thank you. Boy, I don't want to send people to the wrong place. Mm -hmm. But um, once they get in, they go, oh, my goodness, I had no idea mm -hmm. what's in here. It is a beautiful It's building. amazing. It, it, and it is you know, a work of Ed art. Ed Hoffman. Eddie Hoffman. A, an yes. architect in Tarpon Springs. Um, still is. It, and still is. Um, designed that building. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Where was it built? It's a jewel box. You just walk in there and you just go, it's, wow. Yeah, it's won several architectural awards. And I'm not surprised. And it, it's wonderful. And um, it, the building opened to the public in 2002. Okay. And so we will be 17 years old in January. And you know, one of the things I've always loved too is there's plenty of parking. Anytime I've free been parking. To, every time Good I've point. been to an event there, mm -hmm. never have a problem. Right. And you just you walk, and it's so most of them are after hours. So and, that, but it's still yeah. it's it's a beautiful building, and there's always yeah. different kinds of events. Do you mm -hmm. have you heard any? Do you want to talk a little bit about the um, the large piece that just left that was? Uh, yes, I, I wish that we could be showing that. Uh, I know. We had a, a painting by Kevin Grass, who is a Tarpon mm. Springs artist, uh, just fabulous um, uh, allegorical realist. His work is superb. And he recently did a painting called Not Me Too, No More Casting Couch, portraying mm. Harvey Weinstein. Mm. It, and interesting. It, it was mm. fascinating. He gave a great talk on it, and the public really turned out. And it really resonated with, with a lot of people. And that has now gone on from the museum. It is now in Grand Rapids, Michigan, at the largest art exhibition in the world called wow. Art Prize. Wow. And there are major prizes, and visitors can vote for their favorite piece. And we're hoping that he might come home with an is award. Is that still on your website, that piece? I am not sure if okay. it's on, only because we don't have the painting now. It may There may be a link to it still on the it website. It was up for a month, and I yes. went to the explanation yeah. of this. And he really had, oh. um, and it showed how he created the hands and the realism of, uh, it was just unbelievable. It was Harvey Weinstein, and then it was mm -hmm. two ballerinas. And one in white, one in black, and the one in black the was on the tour. The symbolism was fantastic. Unbelievable. It was 14 by 7. Oh, my goodness. And you goodness. walked up to this just dark black background, and everything was subdued, but the faces and it were just very people um, stood for hours. I know you walked up to it and it. you just it was yeah. uh, just you a could feel the emotion. drew you in a little emotion. bit yeah, absolutely yeah. life size yeah. Yeah. and it just was phenomenal. Yeah. Wow, I'd love to see and that. And I really can't wait to see I what to if see it go. what it wins. Because <laughs> it would, yes, Sounds yes. like it just might. It might. Right? Yes. So anyway, we we love having you know being able to show not only 
a few local artists, but are artists from literally all over the country, the world. Yeah. And he's a faculty um, member. And he is so he great. is a faculty member at St. Petersburg have to, College. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. We're good. We are running out of time to sit and talk about our all <laughs> oh, day. We and have just to listen. <laughs> it's not far from me over there where you're at. But yeah. I want to okay. thank you for joining thank us. You. We have a lot coming up. We over do. There at the we have the Adult Book Club based on art. I got to throw that in. Uh, oh, so, that, that's phenomenal. Yeah. I want to thank you so much for joining thank us you. on my channel. Thank you, Barbara. And right. Jean, thank yes, you for bringing great. us in. And thank you. Do check this out. I mean, going there, you will be in awe once you walk into yes. this beautiful architecture. You really will. I promise. And, yeah, I promise too. Check so. out becoming a member because that mm -hmm. gives you gets you into other museums as well. And yes. special yes. exhibition or special yes. receptions that are just for members only. And oh they're yes, very nice. They're yes. really good. Special yes. care. Well, we want to thank you for joining us. We're going to be taking a quick little break. Thank you, and we'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi everyone, welcome back into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I'm so excited to be here with the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. We have Jean back and we have another great couple here. We are going to be talking about Current's Restaurant. Tracy Swade and Joel Lutz, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Tell us all about your restaurant. 
Wow, there's a lot to tell. We've been there, there really almost uh, nine and a half years. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, we're around, exactly where are you? We're on the corner of Tarpon Avenue and I the Trail, I downtown it. historic Tarpon Springs. Okay. Right across from the train depot. And we're serving fresh daily ingredients and we create just culinary art with it. Culinary art? You've yes. already got my interest. Like what? <laughs> Give us your favorite dish. Give us a favorite dish. We're getting close to dinner Ooh. time. What, what is the favorite? There's so many. Um, my favorite appetizer is going to be the scallops. Yeah. Oh, I have to agree. Really? Those are really yeah. good. Scallops are amazing. Of course, the shrimp and grits are close. Nice. Close, close. Yeah. Everything's we have good. a couple signature dishes. Um, wild caught salmon topped with a hash of spinach, corn, and shiitake mushrooms set on a bed of blue cheese mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And oh, then our grouper piccata <laughs> is just, it, we can't take it off the menu. Folks go yep. crazy. So I know, I've heard that many, many times. Yeah. That's wonderful. So we t basically, we just take simple ingredients and make deliciousness. And, and the presentation he, is always You know, I can so tell, wonderful. and even for, just from the outside, mm -hmm. I mean, it just look it's inviting, very inviting. And I love the fact that you have wild caught salmon. That, yeah. I'm there, definitely there. And you've been yeah. there how long now? It'll be 10 years in February. Oh, that is crazy, so right? That's so that great. is that is amazing. Like how long have you been a member with the chamber? Uh, since I since I moved to Tarpon. Yeah. Well, since the restaurant moved to Tarpon, yeah. So how has the chamber worked for you? It's definitely helped in a lot of places, especially like here. I wouldn't well, have exposure yeah, if I wouldn't Tracy's have joined. Tracy's on my board, so she's oh, part yeah. of the All right. executive Cheers. committee. All right, you stepped up, didn't you? She is yeah. on, well, she's on the executive committee. She's secretary, Good. so she can't miss a meeting or we track her down. <laughs> and so there's been many times where she's running in going, okay, I have this and this and this going on. You get me for an hour. And But I a mean, very big supporter, absolutely wonderful. Um, Thank you. Great advice on most everything that it's like, okay, Tracy, what do you think? And so that's the kind of support that I get from my executive committee. I Super appreciate good that. Stuff. And that's what Thank really you. makes a, a family with the Tarpon that's true. Chamber, right? Yep. It does. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. year we uh, we knocked down the wall yes, and I was gonna say, uh, we tell opened them. another space. It's, it's so called exciting. Third Space, which basically is your first space is your home, your second space is your office, and your third space, it's your third space, it's not our third space. It's a place where you go where you can work in the morning, have coffee, set up your device, and just have peace and quiet. Or you can go have a banquet, you can have a seminar, a birthday party, really any business or social, social function. That's nice. What time do you open in the morning? 11.30. 11.30. But we will open earlier for networking meetings or whatever oh, we need to. Oh, that's good to know. And we're getting ready to start um, a musical program. We were just talking about today, mm -hmm. so it's a bit early to be discussing it, but we'll be open later on the third space side and closing the restaurant normally between 10 and 11, depending on if it's a weekday or weeknight. And so, it, like entertainment and that yes. kind of, oh. And weddings, I mean, it's just. It's always busy it, in that third space. There is so much to do. It's a brick wall with wood floor and a plain white wall, so it's a blank canvas oh, yeah. for just any simple or elegant, mm -hmm. oh that's our motto isn't it, simple as elegant, um, for any occasion. Nice. Well, and the ceiling is what, 14, 14 feet, feet tall? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, so you yes. walk in and there's brick walls, The is it the original floors? Yes. They've been completely redone, you have beautiful windows on the other end, mm. and the space goes up, it goes out, it's just, it's old, it's new. Go but to it's Currents, um, to our Website? Uh, website, yeah, currents-tarpon.com, and you'll see the old go. currents. Oh, there it is. There it is. And then the new space and our menu and <coughs> all the different things that, well, that we have now. And Joel is bringing to the restaurant, Mr. My Right Hand Techie Guy. Like, he can make anything happen. So, I'm very Tell thankful. us what. Tell us, what are you doing over there that's making everything happen? We're, we're just concentrating on the, the third space right now. Um, the restaurant, like Tracy said, it's been there almost 10 years. So, you know, we, we've kind of got that working away. It's, it's taking care of itself. Yeah. But this is, this is what we're concentrating on right now is the, the third space and different events and what, what kind of events um, we can hold there in there. Is, so we've the had um, mm -hmm. live bands yeah, recording music videos in there. We've had uh, wedding rehearsal dinners. We've had birthday parties. We've had... 
uh, chamber parties, mm -hmm. rotary clubs, you know, we, we can cater to any event. Didn't you have a seminar? Someone had a class in there for oh, a day, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Dr. Root had a 5G. It was the five generations in the workforce right now and how the difference between your generation, my generation, well, our generation, yeah. but mm -hmm. his generation, how we're all different. Some of us can write a check. Some of us cannot write a check. You know, how we can communicate via social media uh, and newspapers. So, yeah, we encourage but, everyone to do their seminars at yep. Current Thursday. That's really because, good to know. Well, because, you know, there's space to be able to put mm -hmm. projectors up. There's also, you We did, have it up. Yeah, okay. And, and a screen. And all That's of that new. stuff. That's new. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's to like just move in and take over, yeah. right? Yeah. It sounds but, like and it. And then yeah. they just yeah. take care of the food. Mm -hmm. and the beverages and all of that and you can basically go in there for the day and concentrate on the work that you need to get done because mm -hmm. they take care of all the stuff that's around you. We mm -hmm. also have um, black and white movies streaming silently during the day. Really? As an homage because it was the original Tarpon Springs movie theater from 1909 to was 1919. It? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. my I mean, goodness. We have such history in Tarpon Springs, we really don't do. we? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You guys are like 10 minutes from where I'm at and anytime I ever oh. go into our charming town of Tarpon Springs, you're right there as big as life and mm -hmm. you always want to turn your head either way, coming in either direction because it has such charm it fits in there so perfectly so it was a, a movie theater at one time it was the orpheum correct That's the orpheum theater it mm -hmm. was called yeah huh. oh, darn. so and we play a little homage to that during the daytime mm -hmm. so we were there nice. when no one else was there and now it just seems like our quaint little town has so many restaurants and places oh, I know. And yeah. things I know. to do there's a i mean like you but can the gym drink the and be food. merry all day I remember when I was in interviewing for, the, for um, this position, and I thought that's, and I had met you, but I didn't know where Currents was, and all of a sudden I went, oh my God, there it is. Mm -hmm. And I had planned to come back for dinner that night and then ended up getting um, sidetracked with some other business, but I was like, first, first drive down through there, I said, that's where I'm going to dinner tonight. And Thank you. it was just, it just. And oh, yeah. I've been there yeah. lots <laughs> ever since, yes, absolutely. And that's why we uh, won all those awards. Yes. We got to segue true. that in there. Seven years in a row. Oh, yeah. Seven yes. years in a Tell row. Tell us about Seven that. Tell us row. about the awards. Well, it's uh, called uh, Tampa Bay Magazine. They do a People's Choice oh, Award. Oh, that's big. So it's voted by the people. And. Uh, Thank goodness they gave us that award for uh, seven years straight, 2012 through this year, and uh, we're marching with it. it. First it was the Tarpon Springs number one destination restaurant, and then it has now changed towards uh, we cater to all dietary concerns, restrictions, doesn't matter what it is. So instead of the chef rolling his eyes and saying, oh, one of those, they say, we welcome you, we want to put on the plate what you want and what you can have. So More than 50% of the menu, sorry to interrupt, is gluten-free. So I was just going to ask mm -hmm. about that. Anybody gluten with gluten thing. allergies, pretty much. But it wasn't on purpose, home, it just yeah. happened that mm -hmm. way. And mm -hmm. someone said, wow, your menu is pretty gluten-friendly, and we're like, yes, it is. But it's due to the it's ingredients the clean, that we use. in the all the clean cooking. It's correct, just absolutely exactly. very... Yep. Nothing processed. No, yeah. and nothing's prepared and before. Everything's made to order. So you come in, you order dinner, dinner's made to your order. Nothing's pre-prepared. Well, that's why I brought up the appetizer of mm -hmm. shrimp and grits is my favorite because li coming from South Carolina, I learned, grew up and learned to do that. Um, I don't make shrimp and grits anymore. I come and get it from you all. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple guests that say, we used to go to New Orleans when we wanted shrimp and grits, but now mm -hmm. we just have to go to Currents. It's so good. It is. And the scallops on my lawn. Yes. You do another thing that you don't think of when you're doing, when you are thinking of Currents because of all these wonderful meals. Your hamburger. <laughs> Honestly, t I mean, you told me, I commented one time after one of our, our luncheons, and you said, well, this is what we do, and this is how we make our hamburger. It's not hamburger, it's filet mignon. And really? It yes. Is. And it, it, you know it. So when you, as a restaurant, when you get a tenderloin, like you see it on a plate, it's just a beautiful piece of um, not fatty meat, but when we get it, it's an entire loin. So we trim it down and all the, the tips, the back, the front, all of it goes into a grinder and we don't even add 
like, well, salt and pepper. So yes, there's three ingredients. Mm -hmm. And we put it through a grinder and that's how we make our burgers. So nice. Fresh to order mm -hmm. and they are amazing. They wow. Are, okay, I'm getting starved here. <laughs> just listening that to that is all the one this. thing I sat there one time going, Really? Oh my goodness. You know, it it is. No wonder it's such a fabulous. Well fabulous you can place. have a burger for dinner or you can have Chateaubriand for lunch. So our whole menu is available all day. All long. day. Mm -hmm. I love that. We don't close I in love between. That. Oh we goodness. have a five dollar happy hour all day, all night till seven, even on Saturday. So we have a premium, um, an elevated well. Elevated well, house wine, champagne, sangria. That's five exciting. Yeah. I got a birthday coming up here yeah, next week. Go. I just think I may choose you guys. <laughs> Where are you going? We are yes. running out of time already. Well, with thank just you so much 30 for seconds us. remaining. And I want to thank you guys. And I know exactly where you're located. Got to check it out. And thanks for joining us here today. And uh, thank you for having us. Uh, such success. Congratulations for all those thank awards, you. too. Yeah. How exciting. We're going to take a quick little break. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi everyone, welcome back into my Chamber TV. It is the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. We are with the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce and I'm very excited to introduce our guest, Jean, help me with this, Hengeberger. Hengeberger. 
Hungerville. Hungerville. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's only been two months. Oh, I know it's only been. No, it's been only one month. Okay. Right? And you just celebrated your year with the chamber, which well, I am excited about. Yes, yeah, yes. I know. It seems I know. like. Wow. And we had it at, at Tracy's restaurant. I know. We were just talking about yes, that. Yes. I was just looking through this brochure here Real Net Brokerage Real Estate yes. Services. Yvonne is so amazing. Yvonne Alvarez, welcome. I can't wait to hear about this. This is a lovely brochure. Tell us about this, all this. Uh, Real Net Brokerage. Well, thank you for having me here as your guest. I'm really honored and happy. Real Net Brokerage was established in 2003 by the broker uh, of record, whose name is Marcus Howard. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a multicultural, multilingual uh, real estate in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We are also in an historic uh, building, which we love. Uh, walking distance from the chamber, and mm -hmm. the chamber has been a great support to Real Net Brokerage. We offer uh, many services, uh, property management, residential, commercial, real estate, and I provide free notary services for the community. I've been a notary public since the uh, year 2000. Um, I have a lot of experiences. I wore many hats. I used to be a Pinellas County teacher. Um, also worked in the marketing field with medical and attorneys, and uh, now I'm a real estate broker associate uh, which I just became a uh, broker associate. Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah, so it's, we it's, were so excited for her. Aww. Jean Cole said the masters of real estate, and not many <laughs> people have that. There's 16,000 real estate agents in Pinellas County. Uh, a uh, few have that privilege of calling themselves broker associates, which is a broker's license, but there's only one record, uh, bro one broker of record per brokerage. Right. So I'm an associate. Well, good for you. Good I for you. I remember the day she came in and, and announced that she'd passed the exam. She studied intensely for weeks and yes, going to classes and came in and it was like, oh gosh, I can now have a life. Yes. And we were really yes. proud of her. Yes. It's a lot of schooling. It is a lot of schooling, but you have to do whatever you can to provide a great service to, to your customers who mm -hmm. become friends because you are a resource in, in the field of real estate. It's beyond the transaction. You know, it, it, it really is. It's, it's almost um, helping to create solutions for people, either Absolutely. looking to buy or sell. And the average person really doesn't understand it's so critical to actually work with a licensed real estate associate. Why? Because you go through all that schooling. Um, the average person doesn't know about agency relationship. And right. they go out and they get themselves caught up in just a, a whole lot of craziness. Mm -hmm. So I always like to, when we have realtors on the show, to really point that out, that it, it's very important. And I'm sure you recognize that after going to school and seeing what, what you have yes. to learn. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You have uh, many different transactions. Um, we have for sale by owners, which we call FISBOs, and uh, they really don't know that if they are working with a, with a realtor who's working with uh, the buyer of their property, they're at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is what it is. Uh, we go in and we provide a professional service. We also, I also personally uh, do E2 visa clients. Uh, we have uh, many different situations going on around the world, and this has prompted a lot of people to try to come into the United States. Uh, currently, just closed the deal yesterday with a Venezuelan couple. Uh, they're not even here in the States, but they went through the entire process. They came in with an E2 visa. He's a surgeon, she is a prosthetic dentist, and they bought a hair salon. And I walked them through the process. She arrives on Saturday, Monday. My transaction is finished, but Monday I take her to Social Security and to the Department of Motor Vehicles to get her driver's license and her Social Security, and I continue to be a resource for my for my clients. See, that is so wonderful yes, because when right. people are coming to our country and they don't know, you know, who's on first and you have somebody like yourself to greet them, not only go through the transaction, and you find that you become friends, like you said, right in the beginning exactly. of our interview. Yes, yeah, exactly, and, and uh, this was a blessing to me. They were working with somebody else in Orlando that wanted to charge them $1,000 per month to just send them listings. <gasps> So oh I heard about it. I uh, the transaction has taken me approximately five months, and yesterday we closed. Uh, obviously, there's a, a, a commission check there for me, but it continues beyond beyond that for it me. Does. I have more it hours does. in this 
uh, deal than than what. I got uh, compensated for. I, I, I totally I do it with love. I totally and with understand. a smile. <laughs> you know, and don't you find that every transaction, every family is there's it's always a different story, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Divorce, uh, life changing situations. Mm -hmm. Most people move within uh, six to ten years. You have people moving. So I do not buy leads from Zillow. None of us in, in uh, our brokerage does that. We build relationships. Yes. So we that get is so important. we get the mm -hmm. the constant. Uh, introductions and recommendations and and sometimes they come with us sometimes they don't but when we they do come with us usually they come back I bet yes and they, they and with the referrals too yes the referrals are always sweet yes it's a very uh, fulfilling uh, career and you're in the right time right now with real absolutely. estate right? absolutely I mean we've had our ups and downs as realtors but I mean it's it's very nice right now I mean it's a little funky out there in the market but um, it's it's all good it's all good it's it's, it's so true uh, we have different properties. I have a, a million dollar listing that, that I'm uh, exposing and featuring. I also have something that's uh, for first time home buyers for the younger, younger millennial, millennial uh, couples, um, out of school students that are or looking for downsizing. place. People downsizing. Yeah. People downsizing, yeah. So we get them in all different parts of their, of their lives and, and it's a pleasure. Um, I used to be a Pinellas County School teacher, and uh, some of my students are that age. So, mm -hmm. Miss Yvonne, I'm buying a house. Could you help me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's so cute. Nice. Yeah, yeah they I'm connecting my dots. <laughs> oh, you are connecting <laughs> your yes, dots. Yes, That's yes, beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's so How great. many different languages are spoken in your office? Because I was amazed when you first yeah, called me. Yeah, it's yes, listed here. Yes, my goodness. Yes, yeah. That's we have great. like six different languages. Yeah. Uh, we're always looking for uh, people to come and fit in with us. It's mm -hmm. a boutique real real estate. Oh that's nice. It's, I like yeah, that. It's mm -hmm. very it's a boutique real estate and you get you get that type of service, concierge uh, service from each one of us. We all have uh, different backgrounds. I have a registered nurse that's a realtor. I have a master electrician that's a realtor. I have a attorney, a residential real estate uh, real estate attorney who's doing uh, who she's also a realtor. And uh, it's, it's really fun, interesting. We have uh, 10 active realtors with us, and we have others that just uh, refer whenever they, they have a, a referral for us, and we handle the transaction for them. But we are international before we even became a little niche. Um, since we speak many different languages, you know, we have uh, people that contact us from all over the world and, and we help them out. And I would guess that they f have that comfort zone coming to you so, with all the different languages. I mean, English, Greek, of course, Greek, Spanish, <laughs> Polish, French, Filipino. And um, it looks like you're like a one-stop shop for selling, buying, and coming into the area. And what better place than to come to Tarpon Springs and really, really see what's going on yes. over there, right? Yes. We're right across from the church, St. Nicholas, Nicholas church. church. So oh, we get nice. to see everything on from our Street. front yes. door. Yes, mm. it's, it's incredible. Beautiful town. I'm, I'm also happy to say that I live there within five minutes from the office. Um, and love the chamber, love the culture. Uh, it's becoming more and more diverse. Um, I actually bumped into a lady. She was from Colombia, like me, in the supermarket in the middle of Greek town. So <laughs> that's pretty, pretty funny and uh, interesting. Uh, the chamber has been incredible, incredible okay. with us. Where uh, I'm volunteering for the scavenger hunt this weekend. This oh, weekend. how fun! Yes, I couldn't get a team of people to come and 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 do the the scavenger hunt with me, but I decided to come and help out. And we also sponsored a, a really cute basket, and we're very, very, very excited to be part of of, of with our friends in this activity. That's, That's exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, and Yvonne pops in and out of the office, attends almost everything that we have. I try to. Um, sometimes brings Marcus along too, so that, that we, we get to see the head guy at times. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just one of those things where there's just a warmth that comes out of, of the office and, and the mm -hmm. service is really, mm -hmm. really paramount. And so the business follows. I mean, when you when you lead with your service and you lead with your heart, mm -hmm. um, then you do get, mm -hmm. I mean, it just, it comes. And we have more people coming in asking for um, just a, a notary. And of course, you know, we send them around the corner to Yvonne and 
oftentimes she will say something a little, oh, you know that person you sent to me? Well, we're looking at houses now. Yes. And it's it's just really, yeah. and we know they'll always be well taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's convenient being so close, right? Yes. That yes. was yes. perfect. Yes, and they can't believe it's free. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I require is that they give me a copy of their driver's license because I need to prove that I am notarizing who they say they are. Yes. yes. You know, you have exactly. to be very careful. I've sure. been doing it for 18 years, so I have a handle on that. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful community, and the people are beautiful. Well, you also sell we have one minute, so property we'll have to outside of, of Tarpon as well, because I know you were looking at a house the other day, and you were selling a house down near Tampa. I mean, what range? I mean, you really can take people everywhere. Yeah, yeah. we, yeah, we yeah, sell in the Tampa Bay area. Yeah. Yes, and, and I have a website, Yvonne knows, and I know because I have the network, the <laughs> resources, and I'm here to help. You know what you know you're when you need to know yes. it, and there she is. Ethical professional and with a smile. Oh, well, you're a delight. I'm so glad yes, to meet you, you. and I'll you. remember the notary, and I will remember what you do over there. So I want to wish you continued success down there in Tarpon Springs and have to have you come back again, and good luck in this real estate market. It, it, it's a crazy market. But it's so great. Congratulations. Thank you. Always at your service, and thank you for having All me right. here in RealNet Brokerage. Okay. We're going to take a Thanks. break, and when we come back, we will have another segment with someone special coming up, and then Jean and I are going to be talking about what's coming up in Tarpon Springs. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.
Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the community. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly, and we are featuring Tarpon Chamber of Commerce. We have Jean, who is joining us with not an unfamiliar face. Hi again. Steve Grant. It's like he's like a weekly guest everywhere because you belong to so many chambers. Yes. Uh, we belong from Brooksville to Tierra Verde. We have 14 different papers and we are all over the place. You Myself, are. I am North the North Pinellas County representative okay. for Tampa Bay newspapers, which is the Suncoast News, North Pinellas Suncoast News, Tarpon Springs Beacon. Yep. Palm Harbor, Eastlake, Olds Barn Beacon, but I'm here on behalf of Tarpon Springs today because it is primary for moi, oh, and we love it. Awesome. Yes. And I understand we have a full page on oh, the front yeah. here. This, Let's talk about that. This was so exciting because um, Steve came in and he said, you know, we're looking at doing these pages that are um, day trips for mm -hmm. the southern, is it southern part of the area? Southern Pinellas County. We um, cover all the way down to Tierra Verde. So we did the beaches from Clearwater Beach all the way down to Tierra Verde, Seminole, Largo, Clearwater from countryside all the way over. So There's about so 104,000. Wow. And so yeah. the coverage on this, so the, she came in, she sat down, sat, spent some time with our economic development director, Karen Lemons, myself, and with Diane Wood from Tarpon Arts, we sat at a table with her and talked about what you can do during the day if someone comes up for the day or spends the night or whatever, for the weekend even. And she came up with this wonderful article. Which papers was it in down there? I can't remember. Was it six or eight? No, it was the, it was the Bel Air Bee. Okay. The Largo Leader. Uh, Clearwater Beacon. Okay. Which is in, in uh, was also on in Clearwater Beach and Indian Rocks and Tierra Verde and whatnot, all the beaches papers, mm -hmm. and the Beach B, and uh, Seminole. Okay, yes. Yeah. So it was, was so 104,000. And, and I work with all the chambers in all those areas, but getting this out into the general public, yeah. and this came there, it, I mean, as you saw, we got beautiful coverage. Oh, and, absolutely. And the map, it was like, oh my. And we did you know a few small ads to, to cover the cost of it, but I will tell you, the coverage and the, the people who had, um, and they will be on in a couple of months, Sail Tarpon, um, the Tarpon Islands. Two days later, she came walking in and she said, yeah. where did that thing go? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, She got okay. some phone calls, I believe, yes. It was like within yeah. 24, 48 hours, and she'd booked for that weekend and then another weekend a month later. That's wonderful. Um, from this, and right. she, she said, can we do this again? <laughs> so so the Suncoast News, I remember, this has been around a long time. It is. What had happened um, some time back was the Suncoast News was purchased by Tampa Bay Newspapers when the Times purchased the Tribune. And so we merged into one big happy family. And when I was kind of like the redheaded stepchild of TBN because oh, I was the first because I was the furthest one north for Tampa Bay newspapers in Pinellas County but also the Suncoast News dipped into Pinellas County into Tarpon Springs and had the North Pinellas Suncoast News so I then became the redheaded stepchild of the Suncoast News as well so naturally what they did is they made two into one and we became from a weekly into uh, excuse me we were 15,000 once a month, and now we are 21,000 every Wednesday. See, you know what I love about this? You can take all your technology with your iPhones and the yep. computers, but I don't care what anybody says, we still like a good old fashioned village paper is basically well, what it is, and talking about the communities. Well, yes. yes, we're gonna give you the news that's right around your block. Yeah. What happens with mm -hmm. all the social media and the national um, publications is that you can get it in several different ways, be mm -hmm. it via whether it's internet, Facebook, television, radio. I mean, you're bombarded by some of the stuff. I mean, if you're sick of Washington, D.C., who, who isn't, you know? So, but what we do is we give you your schools, your arts, mm -hmm. your local, what's going on right mm -hmm. around the block, and uh, we saturate the communities. It is a free publication. It's very easy to get into. Um, people can can uh, take advantage of what they live, eat, and breathe right around your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and, and we break it up into several different publications so you're not socked in the wallet real heavy. Exactly. <laughs> so. Well, and the nice thing about it, too, is um, people come in on Wednesday mornings as we get it at the chamber, mm -hmm. they come in, and if it's late, <laughs> oh, and rarely, <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> I, hear about it. I know that feeling. Once, once in a great, great while. But 
people wait for it. And the advertising, it's very reasonable. Um, you know, we utilize it. It's one of those things where um, I put an ad in there for our photo scavenger hunt. We had never done Did that you? before. Oh, it was that's great. It's this weekend, too, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It yeah. was a little $150 ad, I think, or something like that. It was not very much. I paid for that three, four, four five times over, excuse me, um, because we got five um, teams from neighborhoods who had seen That's it. Just, Look at people are still putting ads in the paper, okay? <laughs> I you. love it. I love well, it. Yeah. Well, look at it this way. If you love your social media and everybody loves their gadgets, and all that's all fun and dandy, yeah. but you put it down and you lose it, or if you can't find it, You're right. here you can sit and you can set it down, pick it up later, and it's, it's just very easy. I know. And there, now our demographics go basically from after college to about 80. And mm -hmm. they're and the um, the money wise, it would say anywhere from thirty five thousand to one hundred. After a hundred, you got somebody else doing your work for you. So, but um, yeah, it's still we're still very valuable. The the bigger papers are having trouble. We are doing very well. As a matter of fact, if you have not heard, we are opening up a brand new beacon in Brooksville beginning this month. In nice Octo in October, I should very say. Very nice. So we're huh. we adding another one. See we that? added Spring Hill already. And now we're adding uh, Brooksville. We're going. We're moving up. That's so, so great. Well. I, I love the history of Suncoast News. I know I put ads in in there. We've had my husband's had write ups on him and his accomplish, accomplishments, and I think people in their own little village likes to see that mm -hmm. in the paper. Well, we encourage press releases for your nonprofits, sure. and mm -hmm. um, you know we would like to re let people know what's going on. Send it in. Uh, at Suncoast News, it's community at Suncoast News, and, and the Tampa Bay Newspapers editorial at suncoastnews.com. Uh, uh, excuse me, editorial at tbnweekly.com. Goodness. <laughs> That's kind oh, of a challenge, just, keeping track little, of every, everything well, and I, everywhere. I have two divisions, a north and a south, so <laughs> exactly. and I, and my feet okay. step in both. You're so doing like just a, fine. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm still a redheaded stepchild. It keeps you busy. <laughs> I think he keeps taking these shots at you and I. Yeah, I don't know. No, I just not, no. <laughs> I, at least you have there. Come on. What are you we're not saying we're not going there. Yeah, okay, thank you. So what else is going on? How long have you been a member with the Tarpon Chamber? Uh, Tarpon oh, Chamber since January fifth of fifteen. Hmm. Um, I have been a member of uh, other chambers here for twenty years. Okay. Um, I really my territories and other publications took me from to uh, South Tampa Community Newspaper. I was at the Hometown News in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. I was with The Flyer. I was with Full Throttle Magazine. <laughs> Hi, Tony. <laughs> I was with, uh, just another a, great chamber member. Yeah, another, right. And I, you know, ad salesmen in earlier in their career tend to move around a little bit if they're, um, you know, if the, depending on the deals and stuff. And I've landed and I'm completely happy. I've had several opportunities to move and I have turned them all down, so. So it's a good fit to be a member of the chamber, especially as a newspaper. It is. Uh, it's very good. Yes, yeah. you meet a lot of people. And yeah, such. meet a lot of people. He's always at our Wednesday breakfast, um, for sure. <laughs> I know he's usually the first one there. First, first Are you trying life. to imply I like to eat? No, <laughs> you're the first one for the cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, that's one of those. it. And, you know, and gets around and starts talking to everybody along and, and actually um, gives me good feedback, was one of the people who encouraged us when we were revamping everything this year to not do a program for breakfast. To keep it, and you know, someone was recommending we get it the same place. So we went to the Copenhagen Cafe, which is right up the street from the chamber. But it was a, a couple um, that uh, father son, or excuse me, father, father daughter, daughter um, who um, were you know needing some extra business. So Steve was one of the people who said, "Let's try this," and we got rid of the program that we were doing. Everybody comes in order some breakfast, and the breakfast is good, and, and just kind of, we, we just, you know, well, revamped the, the, it yeah, all. The, the, the feeling is, is that people don't, when they get up in the morning, they want to know where they're going. Mm -hmm. They don't want to have to think about, go out, where is uh -huh. it this month? No, it's in the same place each time, and That's it great. seems to be working out well for them. That's great. Consistency and is the key, isn't it? Energy. So. And, and the if, energy, if the yeah. energy is mm -hmm. really good, and, you know, gets up, and he's always got something going on, and it's on a Wednesday, so, of course, the paper's always coming out, and yeah, people always... Yeah, show that, sure. So we can show that. Right now, I got the snowbird section coming out in uh, November, so we got. Oh, okay. we're gonna welcome What's that back. About? We have a section comes out. It's our biggest one of the year for the um, snowbirds coming back. It's called Welcome Back. We're gonna have one for the north and one for the south, and it's just 
tells the Stolbergs what's new in the area, what's happened since you've left, blah, and, and all that kind of stuff. And That's it's a nice and feature. It, and it is. It's I absolutely free. It's absolutely free to the Snowbirds. Uh -huh. and so we try to keep them updated on what's going on with all the all the different cities and what's going on with all the different departments. Okay. And and all that kind of good stuff. So That's awesome. How do people get a hold of you, Steve? They get a hold of me by calling. They can get a hold of me at sgrant at tbnweekly.com. Or they can get a hold of me just by calling me at 727-656-0734. And we can sign up or and through get the, the chamber. news. And, yeah. Or through the and chamber. Or through exactly. the Tarpon Springs yeah. Chamber, sure. All right. Absolutely. Well, thank you again. Good yes. to see you. Good to see you again. <laughs> we have so much fun doing this, don't we? I know. This is great. And we want to thank you for joining us. But stick around because Gene and I are going to be talking about the events coming up in the Tarpon Springs area. So we'll be right back after these messages. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi everyone, welcome into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly, and we are actually featuring the Tarpon Chamber of Commerce today. We've had some great guests, and in this last segment, Gene and I are gonna actually be talking about what's coming up. I'm gonna kind of zip it so you can really talk about it, because there's so much going on. Oh, I know, between now and the end of the year, and I know I don't have to get it all in. <laughs> <laughs> Try. <laughs> but she was reminding me that, I, that we don't have to get it all in. I have to save something for the next few months. But, 
<laughs> what I'm really excited about is the fact that we now have everything on Wednesdays. If it's Wednesday, it's something going on in the Tarpon Springs Chamber. It's like all day? No, it's it's different times. Okay. Okay. The first Wednesday of the month uh -huh. um, is our Good Morning Tarpon, and that's what we were alluding to yes a few minutes ago. We're talking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. um, Good Morning Tarpon, and it is um, at, from 8:30 until 9:45, and it's just a get together. The second, so if it's morning, it's the first one. It's the morning. If it's the uh, third one of the month, then we go to lunch. Oh, okay. And that one moves every quarter, and that one is called our Lunch Bunch. And our logo on that one is Dagwood and his, his and all of his buddies and, and <laughs> Roadrunner and all of that. Um, and this quarter, it's at Cypress Run Golf Club, and they've been because they're going through some renovation. And Cypress Run has just um, gone through a, a buyout. Their um, members bought the club and are doing some renovation and doing some really good things mm. and doing a membership drive. So we're working on that with them. Food's fabulous. Location is super. Um, and they, so that will be um, coming up on October 17th. Okay. And that is from 1130 until 1. Then the fourth of the month, which is when I'm in here on the fourth Wednesday, I will then be leaving here and then going to our, um, what we used to call business after hours. And we just said, Ugh, nobody wants to do business after hours. So it's just plain old chamber happy hour. Good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes. So tonight, it's at the Chamber in downtown Tarpon. Um, we have a group of featured artists that hang art on our walls, and it changes every quarter. The Art Association um, takes care of that for us. And when that art is hung, which was uh, two weeks ago, we then have a reception on the fourth Wednesday and have um, the artists talk about their art. We have people from the art community come. We have chamber members come. We'll have about 50 to 60 people there this evening. That's a nice turnout. And this time, usually I'm leaving here and going to something that we're doing. This time, I'm hostess, so I'm going to be racing out of here when we finish <laughs> okay. um, to that. But next month, when we have it on the 24th, which is the fourth Wednesday, we will again be at Cypress Run because we're going to be playing golf. Um, we're going to be using the putting green. We're going to be using probably the driving range. We'll be having all kinds of goodies. They are going through some reconstruction, so we'll be looking at that. So um, again, you can call the chamber at 727-937-6109, and we can give you the lineup on that. But that's what we've got going on. If it's Wednesday, there's something going on in the chamber. That's good that Tarpon. you're keeping it consistent like that, easy to remember. We are, and I'm, I'm coordinating with Palm Harbor. They are on Thursdays. I'm coordinating with Upper Tampa. Bay, which is one of our close ones, and so that we aren't all trying to be overlapping, on overlapping. and Great. we used to do that. Yeah. So with the rebranding we went through Wednesday, it's something going on in the Tarpon Springs Chamber. That's so it's great. really exciting. But then this Saturday is something that we have resurrected, and I talked about this last month, resurrected from our history. Um, one of our previous um, directors, Sue Thomas, who has now retired, um, came up with this idea, I believe, and then um, it kind of got pushed by the wayside, and we're pulling it back out, and I'm very excited about it. We've been planning this all summer. It's called our photo scavenger hunt, and I put an ad in, as I was saying, in the um, beacon, ended mm -hmm. up with five different teams. There's our ad. Wow. Um, Put, had five different teams from neighborhoods. The one that walked in this morning is going to be the Tarpon Spring Witches. <laughs> and we asked for people to do themes so that they are going to be coming in. And then there will be a contest about who has, one of the contests is who has the best theme as well. Um, there's all kinds of rules. We're running around That's town. Fun. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's, it's second floor of Captain Jack's becomes ours on Saturday. Um, Nine o'clock is registration. You have to sign up. The deadline is noon on Friday at the chamber. Um, we will not have any registrations or walk-ins at the door. We're limited to 25. I'm at 22 right now. Nice. Um, we have quite a number of sponsors. I will be thanking all of these here in a few minutes, but it's, um, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me thank people in case we run out of, food, out of, okay. out of time on this, as <laughs> I often do, and then we'll come back and talk about what some of these crazy people are going to be doing. Okay. Um, but it's going to take all day long. Um, the, the first sponsors that right out of the box um, that said, yes, we want to do this, Captain Jack's, they're, they're providing lunch for us. And so, of course, we're taking over the second floor of Captain Jack's. Um, then the Tampa Bay Times has jumped in and said, yep, we will handle your advertising for you on that. Um, and so we're on their websites and we're doing, and doing some, some great stuff with that. 
Then we've got mugs and jugs and doctor's urgent care, which, and mugs and jugs, as you probably know, is on, on 19 in um, Tarpon. Then we have doctor's urgent care, which has Palm Harbor location as well as a holiday location, both of which are on 19, okay. another sponsor. Lowe's Home Improvement in Tarpon. Nice. Which is, again, on 19. Um, Kim Adams, who's with Remax Elite, who was here last yes, month she with was. us. Sweetheart. Is, um, one of our another one of our sponsors she was one of the first ones in and edward jones advisors um is um from tarpon springs is on there as well home helpers um in fact um debbie humphreys who is who owns home helpers i know debbie she's been doing that a long time yes she has long i think time. she's got 10 plus years um she is also the the chairman of this event nice and um so they are of course one of our that's that's a company and i will have her on here probably in the next couple of months talking about how if you need home care after a stay or even if not after a stay, just someone to come in and help out she can talk a lot about that she has that great business um anytime fitness in tarpon good old holly where i'm there at 6 a.m on some mornings <laughs> um and then vision ace hardware in tarpon um, another great sponsor, the 1910 Inn, is also one. That is this wonderful Victorian Inn just off of the bayou. They're a sponsor. Valley National Bank, which used to be Amerabank in Tarpon now, is um, Valley National Bank, another one of those bank mergers. And then Guardian Accounting out of Tampa does a lot of small businesses and a couple of nonprofits, including the Chamber um, in um, Tarpon. It's, those are our list of, of the initial large sponsors. Then the next set level of sponsors um, is, are those that are the supporters. And we have an auction that will be going on where you buy armloads of tickets and you put them in, then we will draw for these various prizes. And we have my entire board of directors walked into a board meeting, each with a bottle of liquor that I'm going to be putting in a big bucket. And that will be one of our, our auction items. And it's basically stock your bar. <laughs> it's, going to be, it's going to be a riot. Um, the chamber has also got, um, we've gotten all these, these types of popcorns with some movie tickets that are going to be in a basket. Um, Brookdale, which, um, you remember they were our yes. business of the year, yes. they gave, given, have given us a basket for this auction. Lipa Ratner mm -hmm. gave us, and um, Ann <clears throat> gave us a basket for the auction. Bulk Nation, which is up in the shopping center. I know where that is. Put in a big yep. basket of all kinds of goodies for that. Sailing Tarpon Islands has a basket that includes two hours of sailing. Really? Um, out on, on the Gulf, and it's a big sailboat. It's lovely. That, that's one of the baskets. Home Depot gave us a grill set. I mean, it goes from the tools and the grill all the way down to the charcoal and the matches. My goodness. And everything in Ready between. Ready to go. They filled the back of my truck oh, to make this, 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 <laughs> this gift, this thing that we're going to be. It's very fun. Um, Real Neck Brokerage, uh, Yvonne brought us in a lovely basket of stuff as well. Anytime Fitness um, has brought in a basket, one of which includes a month membership and then the... Um, can I say this? Kick your butt. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> the group fitness that they're paying for for a month, which is our 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. class. Um, Tarpon Arts has given me some tickets and wine for a basket. Wow, what Currents. support? Currents has given us some extra bottles of wine to fill in where we need. Valley National gave us a, a, a basket and Home Helpers another basket. Then we move on to the prizes. And the prizes for this, each team of four, Whoever wins this will get um, $100 each. Nice. Second prize is $50 each. And third prize is, or excuse me, $75 each. And third prize is $50 each. And the prizes are in $25 gift certificates all over town. And Currents has given me some $25 gift certificates. Johnny's Tap House, the Tuscan Sun. One amazing find, which she was also here um, mm -hmm. with her painted yes. furniture. Yes. Um, $25. Just come in the door and you, everything, you know, this is how you get started. Um, HAV Skin Care has donated facials and massages for our prizes. Um, Staples has given me gift certificates. Ace Hardware, again, gift certificates. Lowe's has given me. Rusty Bally's has given me $100 worth of gift certificates. All of the world is, is, is um, going to be doing the same thing. And 
that's our prizes so I'm able to give out. Yes, it is cash because you can use it as cash in all of these different places. That's great. We have one minute remaining. Okay. I mean, I, uh, this is so awesome, the support that you're getting. Well, then people take off at 10 and come back mm -hmm. at 2, mm -hmm. and then um, we will have lunch there, and we, lunch is provided as part of your ticket, and we'll start playing a trivia game, and it's going to be Tarpon Springs and, um, and Florida Trivia. And as people answer trivia um, questions, I have got $5 gift certificates from Firehouse Subs, Bulk Nation, Bahama Bucks, and a couple of others, and I've got multiple ones. So we've got like 30 to 40 questions that people can answer, and I just can just toss them out to them. You can have a blast with this, I can tell. And yes. give us the hours real quick. It is a sign in at 9. You take off Saturday. at 10. Saturday set 10 to 2 but if you're interested in playing this it's a hundred dollars a team we have spots for two, three teams left and come to the chamber or call me at 727-937-6109 the deadline is noon on Friday and you have to pay beforehand we can't t we'll take credit card check cash any of it all right it is going to be it's a ball. It's going to be a blast. So if I'm you so want excited. to get involved, go ahead and get a hold of Jean. We want to thank you for joining us on My Chamber mm -hmm. TV. Thank you, my dear. I'll see you next time. Absolutely. All right. See you next time. Thanks.